Now we're ready. I just wanna be happy. do one of those coming back videos because the break I guess that was taken from YouTube didn't start out as a choice if you had a scene like I was uploading vlogs and I was going to continue to do so and then the computer broke and I couldn't edit for weeks and weeks and weeks so it didn't start as a choice it started as a I don't have another option like I can't edit like I was so motivated when I was uploading vlogs and editing them and I already have vlogs edited from that time period that could be uploaded. I am still deciding whether I want to upload those because they're really old footage now. Like they were old footage when I was editing them. Now they're really old footage. So when things did get fixed I just lost motivation. I was like I was so motivated and then everything broke and I was like what's the point? Like anyways I do want to come back now because I miss this a lot. So yeah, I don't want to make a big deal out of it and like make a video about it explaining it all. There's just a quick little preface in this video. But yeah, this video is not about that. It's about trying to make an eyeshadow look out of a little challenge. I've got several eyeshadow palettes that have like names and stuff in them. I haven't even looked at the eyeshadow palettes yet so I don't know what the shades are called or anything like that. I don't even really remember what half of them look like on the inside because I haven't touched makeup in a long time. Yeah, so I don't have a clue, but I um, like pick a letter and I can only use the shades that start with that letter. So that's going to be a fun little challenge. I just thought it would be something to do. I was bored. I wasn't doing anything anyway. It's currently Easter Monday. I know that's not when this video is going up, but while I'm filming this, it's Easter Monday. So I have nothing to do and I figured it would be fun. Um, I could use like a random letter generator and stuff, but this is my only like way of filming, so I can't really use my phone and get a random number generator and record it. Like, it wouldn't be, I can't prove it, you know what I mean? So I was just like, why don't I just pick T? Because my name is Talia, so that's with a T. I'll just start out with a T. If I do this challenge again, I'll use a random number generator, letter, letter, letter generator. Um, and figure out a way to film it, but this is my only means of recording right now, so I can't really show the process, so, so it shows that I'm being honest, you know, anyways, I'm just going to pick T because that's what my name starts with. Um, again, I haven't even checked the palettes. Um, I'll show you what I do have though. I've brought out all the Vault Collection from Morphe with Jaclyn Hill, um, because I know that they have names underneath them. That's why I picked this. I don't want to open them yet, just because I do want to be surprised with, like, shades I can use. I also picked this one because I know it's kind of colourful um, and I do have the sleeve inside that has the names on it. It's not written. I think all palettes should have the names written under them and not have that plastic sleeve. Why would you have that? It's just worse for the environment and I just don't understand it. But yeah, so I do have, I know I have the sleeve in there though, so I can use that and I know it's kind of colourful. So it has a chance of being like a hard colourful look and not just like an easy neutral. You know? I know that this is a colourful palette and that's why I picked this. I picked this one because I know there are some colours in there but I also know that there's a lot of neutrals so I can like hopefully get like a good transition shade. I'm hoping, I don't know. Um, transition starts with a T so it would be really helpful if there was a shade called transition as in like use this for your transition shade. Mm, here's for hoping. But yeah, I'm going to open them up now and we're going to figure out what shades that T. So I'm going to start with this one just because I'm holding it. You're not going to be able to... Oh, I can already see something that starts with T. You're not going to be able to read them very well though because it's in like really light white writing on like a glossy thing. So it's even hard for me to read. I'm not going to lie. But that already starts with T. That's called 2. Nice. So that's like a shimmery pink shade don't love pink but you know we're gonna have to see if that's the direction we're gonna have to go is there anything else that has a t in it honest truth but i'm not gonna pick that because that's the second word so it's not like the start of the shade name that's the only one from this palette that starts with a t is that the next one we're gonna do is the tammy revolution one 
Now, it doesn't have the shade names written under it, but I have the plastic sleeve. Okay, there's only one that starts with... This is making me nervous because I really don't like pink. <sighs> this is the shade that starts with T. It's called Trini. And it's a red. So it's making me feel like I'm going to have to go the ready pinky kind of route. So far, at least I do. So that's making me a bit nervous because I really don't want to. But it is what it is. One of them starts with T. Oh god, this is making me nervous. And it's tasty, which is this brown shade right here. But we have four more palettes. So here's for hoping. Okay, we're gonna do Ring the Alarm. And none of them have anything that starts with T. So that's great. We're getting really nervous now. Wing Boss, any of them start with T? No. Okay. Armed and gorgeous. There is no way I'm going to be able to make this work. Top secret. Is that with everything else that we've been given, there's no way in hell I can make that work. Oh, by the way, I don't have to use every single one of the shades. It's just that I can only use shades starting with tea. So... Yeah, I thought I would say that, just so you know, like I don't have to use it, but if I was going to challenge myself, I would. Now I've got to figure out if I want to challenge myself or not. It's probably going to be a wimp and go, no, now. Yeah. Oh, the last one is Dark Magic. Okay. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, there's two. <sighs> you know how I said I really didn't want to go the pink route? And then I was just complaining about that green chain, saying I'm not going to be able to make that work. Now I get to pick whether I want to go the pink route or the green route. Neither are preferable because I don't like either of those colours when it comes to makeup. So. Grey. Trickery. And then Temptress. Is it really dark? I would assume black, but it kind of... It's black with blue sparkles. I don't know. Okay, so I'll tell you what I'm thinking then. I'm thinking we're going the pink route. Yay, fun. Um, and we're gonna do the red. And we're gonna use the black from the Jaclyn Hill one. That's not gonna go well. Like, at all. Because black is so scary to use. I'm questioning myself. Okay, well, we're gonna start with the red shade. That might be a mistake. Oh, well, I'm sweating because I turned my fan off and that was a mistake, but if I had it on, all you guys would be able to hear is... Not fun for you, huh? So anyways, we're going to go in with the red shade. Oh. That one. I'm going to tap it very lightly because I do not know how pigmented these are. I'm scared. Hmm. And we're just going to go straight into the crease. And that is a little bit intimidating because it is pigmented. So i got to be careful. It's pigmented. Take a break or a little vacation and chase and blues away. It really doesn't help that my eyes are two different shapes because like this one is like a more rounded rainbow kind of shape arch. And then this one is like heavily concentrated here and then goes down. Kind of like a warped arch. Um but yeah, I can't really help that because if you can see when I raise this eyebrow, like that is kind of the natural shape. So like when I'm applying makeup I raise my eyebrows and that's the natural shape that it gives. Um, and then with this one, it doesn't do that because I can't raise it very well. So it just gives that like normal arch sort of thing. It's gonna look a bit wonky. It always does and nothing has changed. But I'm sorry that you noticed. Although I pointed it out and now you notice. My bad. My bad. Okay, now I'm going to go into the Jawbreaker palette and take Tasty. That one. See how this goes? This is making me nervous. I'm 
I'm going to put that lower down and like you'll see because this is going to be like a not so harsh guideline for where some of the black is going to go. That is making me so nervous just spacing about it because we know it's not going to go well. I'm not amazingly talented at makeup so it's going to go bad but that's like entertaining for you right so that works out. This palette is magnetic, so my bracelet just got stuck to it, so that was fun. Okay, this one looks awful. Well, they both do, but this one looks worse. In person, it looks splendid. Why on camera does it not? I hate that so much, because that always happens whenever I'm doing my makeup. Like, if I look at it in person, it's fine. And I look it up on the camera, I'm like, I guess that's why, like, when you're taking photos and videos and stuff and like influencers always say that you need to put on like a lot of makeup in person you look crazy but on camera it'll look normal so this is not the same thing <laughs> but yeah everything looks different on camera is basically what i'm trying to say is yeah there's like never anything that looks like the same in life in life in real life versus on camera so i guess that's what's happening here is because in person this looks fine but also this is like a casted shadow on my face and that's probably explaining why it looks so dark and on this side it doesn't whereas in person it looks fine and normal because I'm, when I look this way there's not a casted shadow because the light's coming from here so hmm, that might be it too okay now I'm gonna take a bit of tasting and I'm gonna go under my waterline with it under my waterline under my eye with it This hurts, this brush is really scratchy. Not nice for under the eye. Okay, now I look scary. And I'm gonna take some of the red and do the same kind of thing and just run it under and hope that, yeah, it brings some of that color down. So it all like is cohesive and makes sense, you know? The reason I didn't do the red first because like normally in a look you would do the color first and then make it darker and stuff like that. But the reason I did that is because um, the colour in there is like really cool toned and I wanted to put the red over the top to kind of like warm it up because this eye look is like, it's red so it's warm toned so it didn't make sense to have like really warm toned and then cool toned so I wanted to put the red after to warm it up so it was way too much explanation. Oh my god I look like I'm doing some sort of like creepy Halloween look. That was not the goal but that's what happened so at least it's kind of making my eyes look more blue you know. That kind of works. I look gothic, that's cool. In my waterline, I'm gonna put the black with like one of these really skinny brushes. This is a scary moment. <laughs> That'll do. <laughs> oh my God, this is terrifying actually. Like, I don't even know. I'm scared. That went on my eyeball. There you go, it's on my eyeball. Doesn't hurt by the way, in case you're wondering. I can't actually feel it, but I can see it. It's on my eyeball. Jesus, one dunk. One dunk, it was a quick boom, two, and I didn't have to double dip. And now, for something that does like not go with a look at all, this is really shimmery pink. <laughs> oh god. I didn't know I was going to be looking like a vampire. Anyways. <laughs> it's fine. Okay. Bring it up. 
bring Silk down a little bit, like a little bit less scary, but it's still, it's still scary. And I'm going to use it as a mugger, a brow bone highlight too. This literally looks crazy. Now if I like to tie it together, I'm going to use a tiny touch of it as highlight as well. Baby, don't check for me. I'm going to quickly finish off by putting some mascara on and then I'll be back in a second. Okay, not that you can really tell the difference with my mascara because my lashes are so short that it's like actually a joke. So like, even if I do put mascara on, you can't really see. Um, I would put fake lashes, but I don't know how to apply them. So that's not really an option either. Um, but yeah, like you can kind of tell that I have mascara on a little bit, just not very much. But yeah, so now that this is a finished look, I think. I always forget something. I feel like this look needs a little bit of blush, I'm not gonna lie, because it's so, you know, I never wear blush, ever. I do like the blush from this palette. It's, it's pretty, like, I hate blush, but that brush is, what? I hate blush, but that blush is, like, pretty. So I'm just going to get a little bit of blush. <laughs> a little bit. And apply some, um, yeah, apply some on my cheeks. And because all the TikTokers do it, I guess I'll put some on my nose. There we go. Now it's a lot more pink. Way out of my comfort zone. <laughs> okay. Well, this is the finished look. I'll do a little cinematic shot. I'm not good at editing, so it's probably not going to be a cinematic shot. I'm just going to give you the final look. What? Okay, with natural lighting because this is not it. But anyways, I'll finish the video here and it doesn't matter. and probably a bit annoying because I haven't filmed a video in quite a while so I don't really remember how to do it without making myself cringe during editing you know I think I do that with every single video so I don't think that's possible but anyways nevertheless I hope you enjoyed it hopefully more videos coming soon I know that there'll be a cleaning my room video coming soon hence this in the background you'll see that in a future video my hair is all sorts of a mess right now, so ignore that. Doesn't matter, we're closing out the video. So, yeah, I don't really know what to say. What do I say at the end of videos? I've completely forgotten. I guess, um, just follow me on Instagram for more content. Let me know. Let me know of any other videos that you'd like me to do. This also reminds me like of like a very red, I know I said pink before, but it's also like very red based look. Um, and I forgot, like I was watching one of my old videos earlier and I wanted to do this rainbow series, like Shane XO, I don't know if you've seen it, but like she does this rainbow series, she has done this rainbow series where she does like a, a red look and an orange look and a yellow look and stuff like that. And I wanted to do my own spin on that because I loved that series when it was going. And I love makeup, so it would just be fun to like film. I'm not great at makeup, so it's probably not gonna be probably it is not going to be nowhere near as good as hers um because she's like really good at makeup but i just thought it'd be fun and like now that i'm saying this i'm like this would have been good for that video well not perfect because there is some like pink and stuff but like, this would have been a good look for that video so now it's going to be weird when i do start that series because i plan on starting it fairly soon um because as you're gonna like see my youtube channel and there's gonna be like this bright look with red and then a few videos later there's gonna be another red one and it's gonna be like does this girl know how to do anything other than red the answer is yes because i don't know how to do red anyways doesn't matter. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully there'll be a new video up soon. Yeah, I don't know what to say because I don't remember how to do an outro. So I'm just going to say bye. Oh god, I'm so cringy. Just ignore me. Just don't even watch the video. Baby, wait,